were kind of alluding to with scheduling with our phone calls, we have pretty strict parameters for our team. They have to have a complete understanding of what you offer. And we do a lot of training with our phone staff. I do it myself. I have my office manager that will do it. And they're rarely on the phones in the first three weeks of working for me. And I do pay them hourly for that, for their training. So, so we really want to make sure that they understand all of our complete services. And they have a training manual that they can learn from. And they're going to get questions. They're going to get questions that they've never heard before. Okay, maybe they knew that we helped exotics, but they didn't know if we could help uh, Kudamundi, which I got a call for, which is an exotic raccoon out of South America. They're like, I don't know, do we help a, uh, Kudamundis and so forth. So they're going to get unique questions from time to time, and therefore they'll reach out to the right person to get that answer. We're very particular about the greetings and the closings, okay, and teaching them to have good client communication, always to be compassionate. Okay, these are daily operations. This is things that we see day in and day out that we want to maintain. They have to offer two to three empathy statements per phone call. Okay, so if you call my company and test me and test my staff, hopefully they're giving you some empathy statements. Go for it. <laughs> All right, and then triaging complications to the right person, and that's basically just the right chain of command. So if my care coordinators, for example, are having any issues with my doctors, they can't reach a doctor, some issue has happened, they call me because I'm in charge of the doctors. Okay, I lead that team. If somebody is not on shift, somebody hasn't taken over the phone when it's their turn, they know who to call, our particular office manager, and so forth. There's cremation issues. They call the cremation manager first, can't reach her, they go to me, that type of thing. All right, and then beginning and end of shift communication, we found is very important. I want every time somebody is switching off of the phones onto another person, they're communicating. What kind of phone calls came through? What are some special needs that clients may have throughout the day so the next person knows about it? Okay, so they're keeping the message passing on. And if it's really important, they just send an email titled care coordinator so that all care coordinators that day see that information. Okay, and it's not lost.